if you don't know where to go and look for what's broken, or how, if you can identify what's broken, okay. So if I get a, if I can't breathe and the pulmonary guy's like, ew, okay, that's freaking broken. Now I can either be like, mm, or I could be like, okay, you know what? Let me make a list of how to fix what's broken. Is it impossible? No. Do you have to go and do it the grunt way that I did it? Not necessarily. But what you're talking about are some important things. Number one, if you go to a private level chemist, or if you go to somebody, you know, anything about formulation, they own your formula. You don't own it. That's like they own the rights to your royalties. You come from the music business. You don't own crap, okay? That's number one. Number two, if, if you're not gonna, if your minimums are 200 jars a month, they gotta order raw materials for you to make something they can't get paid doing that. So once again, part of, I feel like the breakdown is that if you don't know where to go to find the organization, the association of the experts in an area that you need to know, then you don't know. And worse than that, you don't know that you don't know. Not good. So, my daughters think I'm crazy. I'd be writing rap songs about stuff. <laughs> I can't help it. No. <laughs> no, seriously, it's real. How many skews did you start with when, when you came out with your line? How many skews? Probably eight. Right away? Yeah. This was my original label <laughs> back in the day. Jane Carter Solutions? Yeah. They didn't evolve to, uh, hold on. I don't know, I used to have my picture on a label. I'm like, take my face off that label. This is part of the original brand. This was the last brand that I did, Curls to Go. I did this brand, I, I, I don't know, I've done like 50 SKUs. <laughs> How long, at what point did it start to take off for you at retail? Okay, so there's a couple of couple of dynamics. There are stores that you can sell direct to, mm -hmm. okay? You don't have to deal with a broker or a distributor. So if you make a bottle of something that's, we'll use $20, right? If you deal with a distributor, the distributor is probably gonna want 10 points. So you, if it sells for, retails for 20, you're gonna sell to the store for 10. Distributor's gonna want a dollar of the 10. If you work with the broker, they're gonna want a dollar of the 10. Okay, so now we're up to $8. So this $20 item, if it costs you $5 to make it, you're down to a $3 uh, bottom line. That's the piece that people don't understand. Now, when we evolved to big box stores, we went through a distributor who basically, and this really pisses me off, and I don't mind saying it, that there are, when you go to a big box store, every planogram in the store has a buyer. So what used to make me crazy is if you went into Rite Aid and it said, ethnics hair care. I'm sorry, did I miss something? What's that mean? Black people shop here? <laughs> Seriously. So you would have to go to the buyer who does that planogram, okay? Now, when I work with the distributor, they were responsible for doing all of the planogram for the ethnic set. Then there became the natural set, okay? Now, can you grow a business? Okay, it's you know how this game is. It's pay to play, honey, okay? So if you don't, so you either have to be in a lot of doors because your margin sucks because now you gotta do BOGOs, buy one, get one, and promotions and all that. Okay, so here's what goes on. So once again, I, okay, I grew up in a neighborhood where people live for four generations. We had a community. We supported each other in the entire community, the mechanic, the dentist, the thing, whatever, okay. Now communities have been diluted, okay? So 
what goes on is that people think that, oh, I'm going to do this brand, but they don't really understand who's at the top of the food chain and who's getting paid. Okay? Because they represent a planogram where they just decide what's going to be in that shelf section and they ain't got no risk. We got the risk. The manufacturers have the risk. Now, if you look at who's on the board of companies like Rite Aid, companies like uh, Walgreens, companies like, my thing is like, what are y'all giving back to us? But we don't even think about it that way, but that's a whole nother conversation. So I'm simply saying that if you're interested in creating something, you need to find the association. Society Cosmetic Chemists, Cosmetic Executive Women, if it's in the beauty business. If it's in another business, okay, you wanna make sure you're protected. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.